Kimba is a label that I created uh, 24 years ago and it specializes in uh, couture bridal and evening wear. The name is derived from my mother's name. Uh, my mother comes originally from the Republic of Benin and a girl born on a Sunday is called Kosiba, spelled with a C ending with an A. Now, when I was very young, my mom was a real support to me at a time when it wasn't very fashionable for the son of um, sort of academic parents to be encouraged to go into fashion. So I decided to use that to honor her. And also I wanted the name separate from my name, Yeni. So Kosiba was perfect, but I changed the spelling a bit. If I was given an ideal lady to dress, the ideal lady would be Oprah Winfrey. And I say that because she's got the sort of figure that suits my dresses. And I know I'll be able to enhance and flatter her figure. I mean, she, she, she's got like an hourglass figure, but she, I think I could, I could make her look even more wonderful than she looks at the moment. And also, she's someone that appreciates couture and can pay for it. The message my dresses will give to the fashion world is be true to yourself. You don't have to follow trends slavishly and wear what flatters your body. I know there's more than one message, but I think they're flowing to each other. I would aim to make improvement with my organizational skills. I find that I need to actually go out of my way to be more organized. It's, it's, a, it's a flaw that I recognize that that's one thing that I need to improve on myself. For young designers coming up and up and coming designers, I think it's important for them to uh, manage their expectations and know there are certain steps within, uh, within the, the life of their career that they have to go through. And they shouldn't be too much in a hurry to get to step 10 because they've gone through step 2, 3 and 4. And just make sure that with each step they are doing, they are perfecting their skills, they are improving their knowledge, and you always keep improving yourself. You, you are, I mean, I've been in business for 24 years, and I am, I am still, you always have to raise the bar, it never ends. Um, I get asked who I would like to dress, and my honest answer to that is, Seriously, from the bottom of my heart, I just prefer to dress people that appreciate what I do and, and you know, know the value of couture. Um, I'm not really hung up with dressing specifically. With regards to honing your craft and achieving the best of your craft, the advice I would give to Upcoming designers and even designers that are fairly established is that you have to pay great attention to detail in what you're doing when it comes to drafting a pack, when it comes to taking a measurement, aim for perfection because it's a domino effect. You get the measurements wrong, the pattern is wrong. When you're making your pattern, try to be as accurate as possible. When it comes to pinning your fabric on the paper, make sure everything is accurate because precision and best work just just um, results in perfect in a perfect garment, and that's what you want to achieve. And you constantly keep, um, you know, pushing yourself to to better you get what you think is perfect. Try harder the next time; you'll find it even more perfect. And what that does, it then gives you the ability to look at your client or your buyer in the face and put a price that values your work with the knowledge that what you produce is perfect. The two work hand in hand. You can't really aim for the highlight of your work you are not that uh, standard. That's my advice. And that is, a, that is something that I, I follow. When it, when it comes to being a fashion designer, it's, it's, there's more to it than just 
making the dresses that you create, it's a business. And that's something that you really have to understand. I was very lucky that when I was starting my business, I went on a business course that taught marketing, it taught finance, it taught taxation, PR, and administration, and all those things go hand in hand. Because no matter how talented you are, if you don't run your business as a business, it will fall. And the young designers now are extremely lucky because of social media with Instagram, Facebook, Google Plus, Twitter, used correctly, that can really that can really boost your business because what you are doing is you are telling your own story. You don't have to rely on a fashion editor or a PR person. As long as you have a smartphone, you have good images, and what you need to do to get those good images is collaborate, collaborate, collaborate. Photographers, um, hairdressers, makeup artists, just, you know, you need to work together. You create really strong images, and you push those images through social media. You tell your own story, and the sky is the limit. If anyone wants to contact me, um, I'm on all social media platforms and it's all Yemi Kosiba on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google Plus, you just Pinterest, you just type in Yemi Kosiba and you get rid of me. My website is www.kosiba.co.uk. What I would like to say is a huge thank you to each and every client that has commissioned the Cosiba gown. Because what you've actually done is take an idea, a concept that does not exist, and put your trust in me to create this idea into a natural garment for what is normally a very special day in your life. And I'm really grateful for that. It keeps me it keeps me on my toes and I, I love what I do so I do appreciate um, the, the support and the trust people put in me.